Hello everyone, I'm Pharmacist Michael, and today I'm going to do my first video of a series of videos on diabetes. Now I'm not going to do these all one after the other because I want to kind of spread them out a little bit, but today's video is about early signs that you have diabetes. Do you think that you may have diabetes? Before we explore the early symptoms of type 2 diabetes, let's talk about the risk factors. Number one, having prediabetes. This just means that your blood sugar levels are above normal, but they're not quite high enough to be classified as diabetes yet. Patients may have prediabetes for a long period of time without knowing. But if lifestyle changes, including exercise and eating habits, aren't improved, prediabetes can lead to a type 2 diabetes diagnosis. Number two, being 45 years of age or older. We can't help this, right? Older individuals have a higher risk of developing diabetes. Number three, being overweight. Most of us know this one. The more excess weight you have, the more resistant your muscle and tissue cells become to insulin that's produced in your body. Number four, not getting enough exercise. Being active makes your body more sensitive to insulin, which helps to control blood sugar levels. Number five, having family members with diabetes. There is a genetic link to this disease. Number six is not eating a balanced, healthy diet. Too many sweets, sugary foods, and foods with a high glycemic index can increase your risk of diabetes. Number seven is having other conditions such as polycystic ovary syndrome, gestational diabetes, heart disease, or stroke. Whether you have these risk factors or not, you still may end up with diabetes. Catching it early is important because diabetes can increase your risk of heart disease, stroke, infections, kidney damage, peripheral neuropathy, high blood pressure, problems with your sight, and more. Diabetes can also zap your energy levels. Here are some of the early signs that you may have diabetes. Polydipsia, polyphagia, and polyuria. The three polys is what I call this. Polydipsia is abnormally great thirst as a symptom of a disease such as diabetes. There's also something called psychogenic polydipsia, which I'm interested in just because it has to do with the psychiatric population. And that's when people just have to drink more water and have to drink more water, and they're, they're just obsessed with drinking water. The second poly is polyphagia, and this is when the patient eats excessive amounts of food. In uncontrolled diabetes, some of the excess sugar that builds up in the blood passes out of the body in the urine. The calories, or energy, that the sugar contains are also lost from the body. When this happens, we need to eat more food to replenish that energy. Polyuria is excessive urination. Because there is not adequate sugar from food eaten entering the cells, an early sign of diabetes is fatigue. An increase in yeast infections can also occur. The extra sugar available in the blood and urine increase food supplies for the yeast. Another symptom is slow healing wounds. Again, the sugar in the blood can damage blood vessels, 
impairing circulation, and making it more difficult to heal wounds. This also increases the chances of an infection as well. Another early diabetes symptom is tingling or numbness in the extremities. Diabetes can cause nerve damage, which results in numbness in the hands and feet. These are a few of the early signs that you may have diabetes. This is just the first in a series of videos I will be presenting on diabetes. If you think you may have diabetes, please see your doctor. As mentioned earlier in this video, early detection helps mitigate some of the risks associated with diabetes. Always remember to eat whole foods, exercise, drink plenty of water, and get enough sleep. Your doctor can do a blood test to determine if you indeed have diabetes. If you know anyone who may have some of these symptoms or would enjoy this video, please send it to them. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel for more happy, healthy living information. I'm Pharmacist Michael, and as I always say, be happy and be healthy.